You look amazing. You look amazing. No, no, but you no, but you look amazing. Look amazing. Like you look That's not like true. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this is this is Paco Rabanne, um, and uh, these are made by my amazing nail artist Juan. Wait, let's get a, let's get a, a good zoom in on those. Oh, those are good. So good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you are killing me right now. Thank you. The new song Breakfast. Thank you. Thank you. I hope everybody saw that. That was like a nice moment that we just shared. I got like a, a, a gust of wind. Um, my, uh, yeah, so breakfast. I um, I really, I was up in Vancouver and I was filming season two of uh, my Apple show, Schmigadoon, and I was uh, working on creating a video for breakfast um, when Roe v. Wade got overturned. Um, and I think just like every everyone else in the country, especially women, I was feeling um, just like incapacitated, just really depressed and really um, disillusioned and feeling very, you know, I think it was a day that we all thought would never come. Um, and so I didn't, I wasn't prepared, like nobody was prepared. Um, and I just started to kind of think about what it would mean to make any sort of meaningful statement in in the medium that I have access to which is through my music um, and uh, I, I feel like Lauren my director and I ended on a really wonderful note that I wanted it to feel purely like demonstrative and but to feel emotional I wanted it to feel uncomfortable to watch and I wanted it to remind us that we've gotten so accustomed to seeing these situations but reversed um, and and to kind of recontextualize them so that we could notice how uncomfortable that makes us feel and remember that these things should never be normal. These things should never be something that we passively accept um, and we stop having emotional reactions to simply because we're desensitized to them, right? Because I think, you know, the news cycle is so quick and uh, social media is so overwhelming. I think people get disproportionately um, and understandably run down. Like, I think, you know, we lose a little wind in our sails when we get defeated over and over and over again and we get bad news over and over and over again. And I want people to remember, especially young people, um, especially Gen Z, I want people to remember that this is our fight to fight and that we can have an impact and that there are resources that we have access to and we should be upset and we should be in pain and we should be coming together as a community because without that sense of hope and the remembrance that, that we are the majority in this fight, you know, it's it's so easy to um, to become to feel disempowered and to feel like we have no voice and no power and no say, but we do. Um, and so I, I just think that you know, if you have a platform in times like this, you need to be using them to make a statement. You absolutely did, and it was I loved it. I loved your message. So incredible. Um, I know your fans are listening because you're also nominated for Best New Artist tonight. Crazy. How crazy is that? It really is crazy. I um I I tend to I think I'm like I'm a Capricorn, so I tend to like not really. <laughs> I said that like you you were like yes. What's your star sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Oh, okay, so we're meant to be. Yes. My 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 best friend Veronica says I'm supposed to marry a Sagittarius. So anybody who I am ever interested in who's not a she's like it's not for you. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. Um, so any any Sagittarius men, women, anybody out there? Um, no, but I, uh, I I tend to process things really slowly, and I tend to kind of like only register them in retrospect. And this is one of those rare occurrences where I was like, I can't believe this is happening. Like this is this feels so surreal. I. I, this was never in my wildest dreams um, something that I ever envisioned for myself. So thank you entirely to the fans. And um, yeah, thanks for getting a, a little queer song on mainstream radio. That's so sick. <laughs> Congratulations. Finally, uh, we are playing a little game called On the Record tonight. Po okay. Oh, okay. So grab a record and you're going to oh, read oh. the question. Okay, I want this one. Oh, I want this one. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> If you weren't a musician, you would be. Um, I mean, I feel like I'd be an actor. <laughs> no, but I actually, I was gonna go to, um, I was planning on going to FITM or RISD when I was growing up, because I wanted to become a fashion designer. Okay. Um, and so I definitely still feel like that is something that I'm super passionate about. I think that uh, design and constructing clothing is something I've always done in the privacy of my own home. Um, Maybe a line down the, ro down the road. Maybe, or I don't know. I'm, I might. Uh, I, I feel like I'm definitely feeling very politically inclined right now. So I, I definitely think that uh, there's something, something for me in that direction.